Hello friends, this video on statistics part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The topics to be covered in this chapter are Introduction You will understand what is collection of data Once the data is collected, we will see how can we present the data We will also try to present this data graphically We will understand what is histogram what is frequency polygon? These two are nothing but graphical representation of data. We will try to understand the central tendency. We will understand how to measure the central tendency and then we will go for a quick summary. The chapter is all about statistics. What is statistics? See, statistics is nothing but it is the science of average and estimates. Right, this is statistics. So it is the study of actually collection. So when you find average and estimates, you have to first, there is nothing but, or other definition is the study of collection. So you have some collection of data. So when you study this, you analyze this study of collection. analysis, interpretation, and organization. Of what? Of data. And this is done for specific purpose. So note the keyword here, specific purpose is one keyword here, data is the keyword here, collection, analysis, interpretation and organization of data. See what I am trying to say is, first let us understand what is data before we understand the actual definition of statistics. See every day we come across a wide variety of information and these information are in the form of facts, numerical figures tables etc. Right? For example, if you see in the news we see company profit report. In the news you also see the cricket batting average of a country. Right? Also we see the government expenditure for example different uh, government expenditure in different sector. We get all this information in uh, various forms. Right? We see the election results. We see that sometimes that this particular disease is viral now. Right? So all the information about particular disease, the virality of a particular disease, these many people killed, less many people infected and stuff like that. Also sometimes the terrorist attacks on various countries or the movie box office record that this movie is flopped, this movie has made this much amount of money, this movie super hit. All these data and these data is generally provided by television, magazines, radios, internet, these are the source of data typically. Right? And the data is typically in this form we get. Sometimes we get data uh, of uh, marks obtained by different students in different class. Right? In the school you must have this kind of data. Okay, rule number one, this much marks in physics, this much marks in chemistry, this many marks in maths, and stuff like that. Similarly, rule number two this is the mark. So all these data is huge. Okay. So these facts and figures are actually data. Now, these facts and figures, when you are collecting it, see, there's a huge data, there's huge information in the market, right? There's information about election reserves, there's information about credit score, there's information about government expenditure, terrorist attack. But the question is, do you need all data? Right? You don't need all data at a given point of time. For example, if you're trying to do an analysis of the disease, prevalent disease in the market, then you may need data on the various disease or flu or viral that is currently in the market or that is that happened in the past. So with that, you can conclude something. If you want to analyze which cricket team is the best, then you may need data on the cricket score of various team Right? over the past 10 years maybe and then you can analyze and you can come up with some result. 
or let's suppose you want to know who is the best student in the whole school then you then you may have to analyze the data for the students in the past 3 4 years and then based on your understanding in the class of rules and you can tell okay this guy is the best student in the school right so data there is plethora of information facts in the market but when you collect some of these for a specific purpose for a definite purpose right so that set of data collected for a specific purpose will be called data right this data is huge it is actually plural of a term called datum it's a latin term from this uh, data as in the right okay so understand so you have huge amount of information floating around you right on various sectors now first is you have to be specific fix your domain what kind of information you want right so then let's go talk about specific topics once you define your scope okay let's talk about cricket score so we'll take all the cricket score data that is data right so information on a specific uh, or information collected for a specific purpose that that will be data now once we have data let's suppose we have huge data so we have uh, data for cricket score of all the players of all the countries for the past 10 years on the match what shall we do with the data it's very huge i mean it, it must be some 10 crores of data what shall we do with the data so we have to organize it so we have to organize it so that we can understand it why we are organizing it so we are organizing it so that we can analyze this data and we can interpret some information out of it and this is the keyword so data is huge so we have to organize this data we are organizing this data so that we can analyze this data and interpret something out of it so the extraction of a meaningful information is critical from a given data and this is the collection of data right so and that is the reason why we are studying statistics see there is a hell lot of data here and even if you organize and if you don't get anything out of it there is no purpose of doing the exercise Right. Anything we do, there has to be some purpose. So the purpose behind statistics is you have a huge amount of data in the world. You first define your scope of data. Once you know what kind of data you are looking for, you have to organize this. Why? Because the data is huge. Once the data is organized, you analyze it, and then you interpret something out of it. So we will we'll come up with some examples on this to understand what is exactly statistics all about. For example, cricket score. Uh, you analyze the data, so you have the scores of all the cricket team in, in in the world, and then you see that average score of let's suppose Australia is let's suppose three hundred twenty in a given match, and let's suppose uh, India is one or three hundred twenty five. Then you can make out okay, India is a better team than Australia, maybe, or then. If you see, then if you compare, okay, how many times India has defeated Australia, how many times Australia has defeated India, and based on that also you can come up with some other information or come up with some other interpretation. So it's all about interpreting data. To interpret huge amount of data, you have to organize it, you have to analyze it, and then only you can interpret data. Okay. So the main purpose of statistics is you have huge amount of data in the world. You have to first. Understand what kind of data you are looking for. Once you know what kind of data you are looking for, you have to organize this data. You have to analyze this data, and then you have to interpret this data to extract some meaningful information. We'll take some few examples, okay? And this statistics word is defined from a Latin word status. Status. Status means political state. you must be wondering how come political state is linked to this see actually in the origin if you talk about the origin of this concept in the origin this whole concept of statistics was applied only to collect data on different aspects of people and that is and that aspect which was useful for the government for example how many children per couple what is the gender of the uh, people for example what is the sex ratio how many males how many females how many educated people how many non educated people how many employed people how many unemployed people right so these kind of data government used to collect on various aspects of the people for example how many people are suffering from x disease how many people are suffering from y disease what is the cause of death of the people so all these data government used to collect on 
various aspects of life and this was used by the government to rule the country and to make people happy or to give better governance so earlier that was the only purpose of statistics collect the data about the various aspects of people and then analyze it and this was used by government to understand and rule the country better so that and that's how this word statistics came but over a period of time its scope broadened and the statistics was actually include, included to interpret and draw information on other aspects also for example cricket score i told you marks average factory data right so an example i can take some example for example okay so this is store and this store and let's suppose the store is um, uh, spencer or let's say walmart walmart i'm just taking a hypothetical example so this company has analyzed let's suppose using its customer shopping data that a customer who has bought bread he is very likely to buy a milk as well and this is this data he got at the store or let's say any general store store a this this store has got this data based on the past billing in the past let's suppose the billing of 5 years it was analyzed it was seen that every time a milk is bought bread every time bread is bought milk is also bought but other way is not so if this this is the data that came from the past or this is the information that came from the past data right so now the shopkeeper what he has done is to in cash this information what he has done is he has kept both the bread and milk together and thus increasing the sale because that means people who are buying bread are more likely to buy milk as well so if both are together even if the person who is not in mood to buy uh, milk may see the milk nearby and buy the milk because the data says that the human tendency to buy milk and bread together maybe on that particular reason right so if you see this is one example of application of data to increase the sale of a given shopkeeper another example so let's suppose there is a pharma company pharma shop okay This is a shopkeeper who is uh, selling medicines. He analyzes that the sale of some anti-malarial uh, tablets is maximum in the month of June. Let's say. So based on his analysis, he know that June is the month where anti-malarial medicines consumption is max because maybe the mosquitoes are more active there. We don't know. So what he will do is next year when the June arrives in the May month itself, he will buy more. stock of anti malarial medicine with that he'll increase his sales because he'll not refund his customers all his customers who come for anti malarial medicines in the month of june he'll make sure that he has tablets for them right? this is also one application of data to increase the sales okay okay one more example let's suppose um the school school what they do is they analyze the report card of student and the principal of the school she found that let's suppose section a of class 9 so class 9 has section a section b and section c so what principal found that section a of class 9 is b in maths but other section b and section c the math score were good right so let's suppose this has 60 students it has 60 students it has 60 students each so based on the analysis of the data she found that section a section a class 9 maths was bad b but other things were okay so what she did was she she replaced the teacher now see i mean section a has a very seen quiet and understand understood from the students why they are weak in maths they complained that the teacher is not well and she changed the teacher and then she um, asked for extra classes as well right? she arranged for extra classes as well so with that you see the principal help the students of class 9 by using the concept of statistics okay so there are so many examples and as i told the best example was the government right the government actually used statistics a lot so they see that okay what is the gender ratio of the country so if the gender ratio is decreasing for example it is 800 to 1000 that 800 female to 1000 male and the government will promote more uh, 
girl child and the government of India is doing it now, right? They're promoting more girl child. The gender identity ratio is skewed. And if the government sees that people are, uh, uh, the salary is less or the people are unemployed, the, let's suppose the government analyzed all the data and they found that 40% of the people are unemployed. In that case, the government will take measures to make sure that there is more employment. If government analyzes the data and find that the increase in terrorist attack has increased by 30%, then the government will spend more money on the defense. Right? So government, if you see, they spend money on defense, education, home, and all this stuff. And if government sees that people are, uh, the kids are dropping out of schools and college and they're not studying, then the government may spend on education also. So it is government which is deciding what to do, right? And they decide primarily based on the statistics. That is the power of statistics. It can improve the life of the citizen of the country. It can improve the life of students of school. So it can do miracle. Okay. So now you understood what is statistics. So you have data all around. So you have to collect data for a specific purpose. For example, in this case, the principal collected data only for class 9 uh, maths. Right, for question ABC. She was least bothered about the cricket score, she was least bothered about the employment rate. All this data is there, but he, he is not bothered about this. He is concerned only about the math score for class 9. She is not even worried, worried about the class 10 math score. Right? Only for class 9, she has uh, uh, spent time and she analyzes the data. And so, first is you have to get the data for a specific purpose, then you have to organize the data because sometimes it is used. So you organize data and analyze and then you interpret and you come to the conclusion saying that data shows that this is happening and then you take a corrective action to fix it. For example, in this case, the data shows that class 9 section A students were weak in maths and then principal using this data to a corrective action. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.